Okay, so uh, hello everyone. Uh, we hope that you are doing well and uh, in the best of health. Uh, today, we would like to talk about the zero of order optimization uh, as we are from group uh, 11 and uh, 13. And now I'll pass the mic to our uh, team member here, Ali. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can, Ali. Uh, <clears throat> uh, zero order optimization is a subset of, of the gradient free optimization that emerges in many signal processing and machine learning algorithms. It is used for solving optimization problems similarly to the gradient basic methods however it's not required for the gradient using only function evaluation gradient decent is the most common optimization algorithm in the machine learning machine learning and deep learning it is first order optimizing uh, algorithm this means it will take into account first derivative when performing the update on the parameters Next, please. <clears throat> uh, deep learning is known for boasting complex optimization issue that is frequently difficult to solve analytically because the objective function cannot always be close analytically. The objective function can, can only be evaluated without considering gradient. The zero order join is at this point. Optimizing the above problem from the zero order group for optimizing black box models when it is difficult to ensure, when it's difficult to estimate or impossible to obtain explicit gradient sequence. Uh, zero order optimizing. Uh, zero order optimizing is the gradient free optimizing subset that is built different signals and machine learning applications tools for optimizing zero are essential first order gradient free equivalent using functional gradient calculation zero order approximately total gradient or statistic gradient and thank you next i will pass my <clears throat> okay thank you roommate. thank you Ali. Thank you. Now uh, you. with uh, Hani for the calculation. Okay. Okay. So for uh, a calculation, uh, zero's order zero optimization iteratively performs three major steps. Uh, number one, gradient estimation. Two, a decent direction computation, and three, solution update. The resulting gradient estimate forms the basis for constructing the decent direction used in ZO optimization algorithms. The ZO gradient estimates can be categorized into two types, uh, one point and multi-point uh, estimates based on the number of queried function evaluations. So as the number of function evaluations increases, a more accurate gradient estimate is expected, but at the cost of increased query complexity. Next slide. Okay, so the one point gradient estimate of function f has the generic form shown on the right side. Uh, although the one point estimate is unbiased with respect to the gradient of the smooth function, uh, is a bi it's a biased uh, approximation of the true gradient. Uh, furthermore, the one point estimate is not commonly used in practice since it suffers from high variance. So a natural extension of one point estimate is a directional derivative approximation uh, or two point estimate. And here is, the, here is how the form looks like. Okay, next slide. And here is the generic form of the zero's order algorithm considering stochastic optimization problem. So as shown here, uh, there is a loop and uh, it occurs for a number of iterations in T and in each iteration, and the three major steps are performed 
uh, number one, graded estimation, uh, two, decent direction computation, and three, uh, point updating. And uh, we want to uh, emphasize on the fact that most uh, ZO optimization methods mimic their first order counterparts and involve, involve three steps shown in the algorithm. Uh, which are uh, gradient estimation, decent direction computation, and point updating, as mentioned early, earlier in this section. Okay, I pass to my next team. Okay, thank you, thank you. Now for the advantages with uh, Fatin. Uh, okay, I will explain about the advantages of zero or the optimization. There are three main, uh, uh, there are three main advantages in zero order optimization. The first one is ease of implementation with only small modification of commonly used gradient based algorithms. And the second one is computationally efficient approximations to derivative when this is difficult to compute. And the last one is comparable convergence rates to first order algorithms. I will pass to my next member for just these advantages. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now with Ma. Thanks. Okay, for the disadvantages, so the zero order optimization algorithm generally corresponds to the first order algorithm. And the differences between the two algorithms is that the zero order algorithm will not calculate the first derivative information. Well, on the country, so it means the uh, Zero, zero order algorithm will give the number more faster, but uh, it will give uh, not, uh, not as uh, accurate as a uh, first order algorithm. So the first order algorithm will use the first derivative information. For form, it is randomly simple directly in parameter space, not dependent on any forms of uh, gradient. Uh, so the theoretical goal is quite bored, but because it is also simple directly in parameter space, it is a smarter grid search. Uh, so it is uh, less uh, efficient in high dimensional uh, parameter space, uh, such as deep learning scenarios. Uh, so the usage scenarios is limited. Thank you. I will pass to my ne next member. Thanks, 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 Ma. Okay, so uh, zeta optimization is actually being used nowadays to solve big data, machine learning, and uh, deep neural network problems. And also recently, uh, uh, zeta optimization uh, has attracted a lot of attention when it comes to generating the prediction invasive black box uh, adversarial attacks on profound neural networks. Uh, in addition, uh, ZO optimization uh, nowadays is used as a tool to evaluate the adversarial robustness of machine learning and also deep learning systems to reveal the most susceptible features. And uh, the, uh, you, as you can see here in the picture, the, this is the adversarial threat uh, and uh, the four types actually of the adversarial threats like the inference, extraction, poisoning, and the evasion. So uh, zeta optimization also uh, have a huge effect on the evasive uh, adversarial threat. Despite that, this uh, optimization only has access in the input and the output of the, of the model. So it's being used nowadays in, in, the, uh, in the evasion uh, type of the adversarial uh, threat. And uh, yeah, now I'll pass to my uh, team member. Here, here is an example of coding for uh, zero, zeroth order optimization. It's a Python package. So first, the way to install it is by writing pip install as Z O O P T. And then we'll go to the sample of uh, an example of how to use uh, zeroth order optimization after installing. So first we define uh, something called ACLI function for minimization. 
And then as usual, we import uh, NumPy as NP, and so we can use. And then when defining the atli function, we can put the X and also the bias as well as the value. Then when it returns, it will look like the figure as it will show in the next slide. This is the figure that looks in two dimension, actually function. It's also a classic function with many local minima. So in zeroth order optimization, we are willing to try to optimize a hundred dimension actually function. So from there, we have to import uh, the dimension and objective and the parameter and the optimization uh, function. So we chose a dimension as hundred because we're trying to find a hundred dimension actually function and the objective is the actually as well as uh, we have to mention the dimensions also, which is minus one and one into the dimension, whichever dimension we use. So for example, in this dimension, we're using 100 and then through into dimension so that it can, as soon as possible, it can just, after this function is entered, it can define the objective. After that, we try to use the optimization and perform. So we are looking for the solution and solution is of course, optimizing, optimize, doing optimization of the minimum we are using the objective and also the parameter we have to adjust it as well. After that, we print the solution. And as soon as we print the solution, we get the X value of the actually function and the solution as well. And if there is a, a time consuming task, we can use a parallel optimization as well, where the code is here written. As soon as you enter, the optimization will be done in a few seconds. That is the conclusion of uh, example of coding. And here is our references as uh, mentioned by our team members, as well as me. Yeah, and yeah, thank, thank you, thank you, Ibrahim. Our, yeah. Thanks, thanks, Abraham. Yes, this is the list of uh, references and thanks all for this uh, great work. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all.